Hi everybody, it's Becky Gregg. I'm just trying to kind of prime the surface so that my tiles will stay on. It seems to help when I do this. So I'm making some coasters and these are my tiles. I tried to edit this as much as I could so that it would cut out some of the boring parts like the stirring and mixing and all that. So this is the Amsterdam gold. Now this is a very light colored gold. It makes me think of the um, TLP color latte, kind of similar. And this is a master's touch. Um, it's called brown red, but in my opinion, it's copper. I use the Amps or the Bear 3300 deep base um, because I was out of the 8300. But to be honest, I haven't noticed a difference in the two. I know the 3300 is supposed to have some white in it, and some say that it meets the colors. But in my opinion, it doesn't. It dries clear, and so I haven't noticed that it does any different. Now. This right here is a Amsterdam uh, iridescent, iridescent blue. So even though it looks white, it when it dries, it has a blue shimmer to it. I'm just checking the consistencies. I think I had all my consistencies right, but I'm not sure. I really think uh, it could have been a little bit less. Uh, I mean, thinner. I am in no way a videographer, so <laughs> I hope you don't mind. This is very amateur video. See, there's that gold, and it doesn't even look gold. It kind of looks creamy. Closer to a yellow. So the purpose of this video is I would like some feedback. You know, if you see something like maybe I could improve on, constructive criticism is always welcome. This is the Amsterdam turquoise. Isn't that beautiful? So, you know, comment on consistencies if you think that it's too thick, too thin. It's kind of hard to tell. Now that is Grenache, believe it or not. The TLP Grenache. It looks very similar to that red-brown Master's Touch. That's my cell activator, titanium white and Australian Floetrol. And it's very thin. I don't know if I got it too thin. It's possible it could be a little thicker. I'm not sure. I didn't measure any of these. I did it based on consistency. Now, as you can see there, my pillow paint's too thin. So I have to thicken it up with the, um, it's gel gloss, or it's high gloss gel pouring medium. Not pouring medium, it's gel medium. Yeah, I had to scrape it. So I got a cup and I poured some in and just mixed a small amount rather than using that big bottle. This blue paint that I use for my pillow paint is the PPG Premium um, in eggshell. However, I had them tint it and that made it too thin. So you have to thicken it up when you do that. I did leave the lid off for a few days like Lisa Martin has suggested, suggested in the past, but it never did really thicken enough. So I thickened it and I think I may have gotten it a little bit too thick.
Later in the video, I do thin it down some. It's just not flowing very well. So I started out putting the light colors on first. There are two opaques in this. Uh, it is the, uh, let's see, I believe, oh, Funk was one of them. Did I not put Funk in there? Oh, I didn't put Funk in there, sorry, never mind. Well, I know the turquoise is opaque. And I'm trying to think there was one other one. I have to think about it. I can't remember at the moment. It'll be in the comments. I listed all the colors in the comments. I'm still learning on the blowing. I would like to learn how to make the cells go all the way to the end of the petal, but I struggle with that. I just don't get a consistent flowing. That, that's not good. I ended up scrapping that and I redid it. Oh, but you're in for a treat because you're gonna see this thing fly off the spinner. I think because my pillow paint was so thick, it wouldn't flow very well, so I kept trying to spin it faster to get it out to the edges. And I ended up throwing it in the floor, and it broke, so I had to start all over. There, you see me thinning out my pillow paint just a little bit. I couldn't even get it to move. It was just too thick. ready for it. <laughs> I hope that was entertaining. How many of you have done that? <laughs> I think using the stick, I was trying not to put too much on, but I ended up pouring it. <laughs> so again, I started out using the lighter colors first. I went light to dark but I think I ended up changing it up a bit later. You'll see, I change it up quite a bit because I like to experiment to see what's the best result. Yeah, I still need some practice with blowing. I'll get it down someday. I'm 
One of the things I have to mention though, and you'll see it whenever you see the end of the video and you watch the dried version, these um, cells, the lines are very thick and I think that's because my pillow paint was too thick and it causes it to concentrate in one spot. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not sure. But, and maybe you have some suggestions, but I notice when it dries that those thick lines end up sinking into the paint and it almost looks like a crack, like it was cracked um, instead of just thinning out. It never quite thins out, it just becomes sunken. So that's something I need to work on and I will, you know, I'll work on that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make note of that. I like to try and save all of the excess paint. I have a cup nearby that if I don't use it, I'll put it in that cup. I usually end up using it as a pillow paint later. Works great as a pillow paint. It's okay, it's not the greatest. I would like to have had it, I don't know, there's some spots there where there were no cells. I would like to have the cells cover the whole thing. I was trying to kind of stretch out my pillow a little bit because it is kind of thick. So that I don't have just a big glob in the middle. You'll notice that um, I'm using the uh, Master's Touch Brown Red is what they call it. That's the name of it. Uh, but it looks like copper. And it also is almost identical to, actually it is identical to the TLP Pigment um, Grenache. Grenache? 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 I don't know how you say that. But I ended up putting away the Grenache and I just used the Master's Touch because they were so similar in color. And I ended up um, using a yellow, but I, I didn't do it until, I didn't use the yellow until towards the end. I think the last two coasters were yellow. I tried to schmooze it a little bit, you know, just kind of tweak it here and there, make some cute little swirlies, but it never works out for me. I'm not good at that. I try.
Not bad, but not the greatest. I think I did thin my pillow paint down a little bit at this point. But like I said, I like to spread it out a little bit. And then if I need more in the center, I can put more in the center. That orangey color there is TLP Horizon. It's such a pretty color. Now the reason I chose these colors is my sister-in-law picked them out. I was gonna make her some coasters. I had her pick out some colors and I made those coasters for her with a white background but I wanted to make something a little more masculine. So I chose the darker background and tweaked the colors just a little bit. Like I said, I'm still learning on the blowing. I, I really have to work on the blowing, but I'm still amateur. I'm not a professional at this yet. I'm still learning but it's getting better. That one I didn't like that much because if you notice, there's a lot of blue from the pillow, so I redid it. It turns out a lot better when I redid it. If you notice when I redid it, I didn't put more pillow down. That time I tried to take my time on the blowing and not blow as hard, but I ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> I either blow too soft or too hard. I've got to find my happy medium. I tried to cut out some of the spinning and 
you know, the tweaking and stuff a little bit so that you wouldn't have to sit through all of that. I'm trying to get those cells to pop up over there. And there's just only so much you can do. You either have to accept it and move on or scrape it and start over. I was trying to show you the light bouncing off of it, but I didn't do a very good job of that. Quite get that in the middle there. I really got to work on the blowing technique. I start off okay, but as I try to blow it out to the edge. I don't know how I lose it. It's like I don't catch the right part and get it to blow out. I just have to keep practicing. And there I, it, I guess I didn't like it, so I redid it. Maybe am I putting too much paint on in the beginning and maybe I shouldn't put as much because these are small coasters. I will say that I've tried this on a large canvas or in a larger canvas and I can't do it. I cannot get the bloom to work on canvas, only on a coaster. I'm still working on that. See, I guess I'm blowing too hard because the blue pillow is coming through. I do end up doing a couple more, but I'm gonna stop right here and let you see the final results because this video gets very long. So I really appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed it. So when this is done, I will, I will cut the end off.
and I welcome any comments, constructive criticism, any suggestions, anything that will help me get better at this, I appreciate. There's the yellow. As you can see, I resorted to yellow. It does end up looking a lot better. I did try to slow down. It just is hard. It's hard to blow it exactly right. But Sheely or Lisa, any of you that are experts at blowing, if you could help me, I watched your blowing videos, Lisa, and they are very helpful. Anything you can suggest to help me blow it correctly, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, guys. me. Mm -hmm. 